Assalamualaikum and very good day to all of you Okay, uh, today we like to continue with the lesson That uh, actually is try to complete for our assignment number 2 Which is you need to provide uh, your submission in terms of as submission 2A Which is the isometry and submission 2B Which is in terms of uh, multi-view drawing So we just continue from our uh, working directory So make sure that this is my previous work. I just close it and I go for my select working directory. I go for my previous file, which is this one, and then I click OK. So uh, last week I already done uh, for my model. This is my model, okay, the three D model of uh, a cube here, and then I just close it. And now I would like to do my uh, unit ten layout, which is you go for a new file and now we uncheck the box here and then we go for format okay and then i just rename it okay maybe you need to let out okay or you need to frame okay and then click okay and this one is empty okay okay we got now then you can just uh, go from uh, the legend mouse here okay this one we go for empty landscape and the paper size is the a4 size so here we go for MP and then this one is A4 and then you can click OK and you can see here this is the A4 paper or the F1 you can check here by here and then the first thing that we like to do is the uh, frame eh? which is uh, the frame for our layout which is we go to the sketch and then we go for edge here and then we go for offset edge this one and this one we check we choose this one ENT channel or entity change and then we just select all of this frame and you can see here all of them is become green and then click OK and the value here is negative and which is the frame will go in 10 mm inside and then click OK and this is how the frame will look like okay and then if you want to off this uh, menu manager you can just entity change here and then just press any place using your mouse and then you go to table and then this one table insert table and this one we like to the table is coming from uh, this one eh? table group direction left foot and sending okay and then number of column is seven number of row is five and this one you need to uncheck the boy. I mean, the adjustment is unchecked. Okay, just follow this box here. Okay, this one. Okay, and then the height is five, and the height of number of character is twenty-one. Okay, and this one width is twenty-five, and automatically the others will be follows. Okay, the height is this one five and twenty-one. This one is five. One and the width is 25 okay and then should be this is the value okay so the number of row is five okay number of row is five okay, okay. and this one we choose vertex vertex eh? which is we we click on the edge of the frame here and then Okay, and the table will coming out from this side. Okay, and then you can see here uh, you need to trim or merging the box. Okay, according to this one, this one, so that we can have the box uh, coming out like this. Okay, the space is like this. So what you can do is you go for here, table, and then merge cell. And we choose row and columns okay so this one is just much this table here and then for this one is one two three and this side is together one two this one okay and this one as well this one and this one 
for this one, we need to merge this thing together. Okay. Right, so make sure that you can get this box. Okay. And that's the thing. Right? If you don't uncheck the this one for automatic height adjustment, if you let the tick mark here, uh, sometimes the table cannot merge uh, accordingly. So you need to uncheck this box. Make sure that you remember that. And then we need to fill in the details. Is like this, huh? okay? Right. So we go back here. Then we go to table. Okay, maybe text type here. Okay, this one. You double click cell. Okay, that's time. Okay. 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 Sorry, table. Text style. Right. And then this one, the height I recommend maybe uh, three. Okay. And uh, this one for the center center, and this one is middle. Apply, and then you can hide you then. Okay, university, the national. Okay, and this one you can leave it blank. Okay, but you, actually you can put some value here. Okay, this one you can see here. There is a model name. Okay, so it's like a code here. Model name and scale into this date. Okay, I just put this one as. Okay. Okay, same goes. Just now three. And so I'm center and so it's middle and I apply. Okay, this one and model. Okay, so you will follow the one that you give the name part. Okay, of your file just now. Okay, and then this one I just made it. Okay, table again. Try to select multiple table here. Oh, sorry, they only can detect by region here. Okay, try again. Okay. Okay, it only can detect once only. So just click here. This one I'm using the height is maybe two. Okay, apply. Okay, try to type skill. Okay, sorry. Skill. Okay. And this one, that's the idea. I like to have this one to apply. Oh, sorry. This one is need to be a little bit left and this one is middle. This one is okay, okay. That's the, okay. Okay. Sometimes you need to double click it, okay, and then double again. Okay, that's the, this one is so two. This one we go and we apply it. Okay, then you can Drawing, let's say you have multiple numbers of sheets okay, in one project, for example, for this assignment, you have two submission of pictures, so they will be drawing one of two and drawing two of two. Okay, imagine you do together with your friend for your group projects using Creo. Okay, let's say there are 40 uh, drawing papers or 30 drawing files then you need to do drawing 1 of 40 drawing 2 of 40 drawing 3 of 40 until very end okay all right
Sometimes drawing is according to the number file, but uh, the uh, drawing numbers can be uh, according to the file numbers, lah. Okay, or the part numbers. Okay, and this one also go to table. Sorry. This one table. Let's start. This one is two. And so middle. Okay. So this one is. is your detail of your name This one, I put other next one. Okay, I just want to see what uh, Robert John. Okay, what else? Section, okay, section. It's about your session number. For example, session 018. Okay, date here. Actually, you can put some. Example this one, eh? and to this date, okay, and to this date, so and to this, okay. so it will automatically write the date of the, the day that you perform, okay, and then here the next one is check by, okay, you know your. Lecturer's name, okay, the one that teach you in the lab, so you need to write uh, his or her name, okay, for example, if you've been taught by Dr. Shukri, then Dr. Shukri's name, if you're taught by Adam M. Mawati, then Dr. M. Mawati, and if you've been instructed by Mr. Azrul or Dr. Prem, then according to your lecturer's, uh, okay, those who are under me, then you write my name, uh, okay. so this one. So this one is two, right? Okay. So this one is check, right? Okay. For example, my name. Okay. So make sure that you write your the one that who teach your labs, ah. Okay. And material here. This one I change a bit, 1.5 because the table is much more smaller. So, sorry, this one is two just now. Okay, so and then I want to change this one. you can uh, edit again this one in drawing mode okay so let's say the thing that you need to do is aluminium that aluminium is kasari is kasari if brass is brass okay. and this one is okay, again table one point 
Spotify play okay. this one is finish as okay, finish okay, actually we just put everything as machine Then I'm just gonna some words here. Give me table. Next time. Okay, this one we use five. Okay. okay. So this one is okay. Unless they did. Just uh, for me. Okay. Okay. And all dimensions in MM. Okay. Like this. Then this one is angular and tolerance. Eh? Tolerance. Linear, angular. Eh? It's like having the refresh of the page, okay. Or if you want to save a bit, then you can save a bit, okay. All right, then we will put the third angle projection symbol here. Is okay, so how we are going to put that symbol. Okay, actually, you can go to the other page. Okay, we go for this one, okay. Go to sketch that grid and show grid this one go to sketch and this one graph grid and this one show grid okay and you can see here there is a dot um, the blocks here and then grid parameters x y spacing this one we change to 0 0.5 okay and the box become more smaller okay, done okay and then we will do that uh, actually this is sketch preferences you can Actually, this one grid intersection we just vertex and let's try to do uh, some circle here. Okay, actually it's not blocking any here, so we just put some sketch reference. Okay, okay which one? Snapping this one. No, grid intersection close. So that again, you can see here, this one is locked on the edge of the box. Okay, let's see, we have some small circle here first. Okay, and then a bigger circle like this. Okay, and then we try to make lines according to the height of the each circle like this. Conical shape. Okay. Then we do the center line here. Then to the up. Okay, actually, you can extend this line. For example, this line. You want to extend? Sorry, this is the circle. This is the line. You can extend the line by dragging the square. Okay, to this point and this line. Can drag in the square and below okay and okay actually i want to bring this conical okay, maybe i just drag this thing everything so that i will bring to the side okay like this okay all right and then you double click this line or you can select both line by pressing the control button and then you double click it okay and then this one Line. Okay, and here you can change the line type to this one to set uh, control uh, center line eh? like this one. 
Okay, maybe you can with maybe you can change a bit. Okay, right. You can see here the line is already changed to center line like this. Eh? Okay, the dash line, center line like this. Okay. Then uh, this is the tag angle projection. Normally, the tag angle projection where you when you do the multi view, you are placed on the L orientation, eh? right? So this is for the yeah, before you save the entity is again okay, actually this is the complete frame and you can press save here. and then file and close okay Okay, since we already have our frame, now we like to call our model and then combine together with our frame just now. Right, then we create a new file again. Okay, this one is drawing. Okay, let's say this is your submission A, so this is what we call. You need to put your ID names, lah. okay. Uh, let's say M E okay, zero, zero. Okay, and then it's called Simon. To e. okay. so this is submission of A, and then this one is a drawing file. Okay. And this one is you choose is MTV format, and this is the model name. For example, uh, the cooling box is uh, your model name, then this is cooling box, and this one is your you, the frame that you just create. Okay, and you click OK. And you can see here, this is the frame here. And somehow the date is already changed for to this date, and this is the uh, the file, okay, the file of model name. So it's already been there. So for the submission one, say we call our model, go for general view, and then this one is just not combined state. And then click OK, just place the model here in the center, and you can see the model is appear here. Right, so then for submission A, you need to change this one to isometry. And you apply. And somehow you need to change the display state here instead of the solid color here, the gray color. So we change this one to we go for view display and then this one we go for no hidden. Then you apply. Okay, so we just see the outer line. And somehow you can see here the model is too small compared to the uh, empty space here around it. So you can just adjust the scale here. Okay, you can see here the default scale is 0 0.071. Okay, for example, then you change this one maybe 0 0.1. You apply. Okay, and still got some more space. Then maybe we can do 0 0.2. Okay, I think this one is good. Okay. And then click OK. And this one you can unlock the movement here. Go to this one, lock your movement, unlock it, and then you can bring a bit just the height of this. Okay. Here. And somehow I don't want you to submit to me with this one. The PRT is CC DIF. So you just go to this one, you get to display folder and just uncheck all the box, then it will disappear. And now since you already changed the scale here, already appear the scale is 0 0.2. Okay, I don't like to for you to uh, write the scale here like this. So we put in terms of ratio, just delete this one. You can adjust the scale here, go to table here, and just double click here. 0 0.2 is uh, same goes to uh, 2 over 10, right? Okay, 2 over 10 or 1 over 5. Okay, or so the ratio is 1 to 5. Okay, it's better you write the scale in terms of ratio. Okay, so 0 0.2 is is 1 over 5. Or okay. oh, 2 over 10. Okay. Right. So this is drawing 1 of 2. Okay. And the sheet is 1 of 2 of 2. Okay, sorry, 1 of 2. Sorry. Okay. 
and you refit again. So this is your first submission of 2A. And then you just file save. This one you just save here one. Then file. What you need to submit to me is in terms of PDF. So or you can just go export to PDF here or save a copy. This one is PDF. Then you can click OK. This one choose the highest solution. And this one change the monochrome so that you can just submit to me in terms of the and why. Okay, so this will be your first submission here. Okay. okay you can see here the name is already been there, right? Then we go for the next uh, submission, which is submission B, the multi view. Okay, now we create a new one. Again, drawing it's a different template, and this one is zero zero zero, and this one is your idea. Make sure that you write right ID. So assignment to okay, and this one okay. So same like it, like just now. Go for general view. Just place here. Okay, this one you need to start with the top view. Okay, apply. And then this one, so you display this. This one for the multi view, you need to show hidden. Then apply so that we can see the hidden line here. Okay, and then we go for projection view so that we have this is top view. And you go for projection view here. And then you hover your mouse here. Then this is the front view. Then again projection view, and this will be your right view. Okay, and this one change to no hidden. Right. I'm saying goes to this one. Then apply. Okay. So it's fine, you move a bit here. Okay, this one you move a bit here. Okay, maybe you can want to just scale a bit. This one is 0 0.62, maybe I change to 0 0.1. Okay, all right. So the scale here 0 0.1 is 1 to 10. Okay, I don't want to enlarge it a bit because we, we want to put some dimension here so the scale just now is okay go for table this one is one to ten okay drawing numbers is go to table again okay. number is two of two Sheet two of two. and what well, oh material just not supposed to be the put material. Let's say this one is uh and still let's say let's still okay for your assignment. If you do the cooling board, maybe that one is polycarbonate or maybe uh, plastic. Eh? Um, normally we put the Plastic is actually a general name, so maybe put some more specific material like polycarbonate. Okay, so this one they are. I go for this one. Go down here. Right. Next, I would like to call the dimension. You go to annotate. Okay. Let's say you want the easiest way is you just go here like this one. Show model, and then just over the entire. Okay, this one. You click. Here, the entire then it will come up like this or you can want to have like this one okay this one is much more simple okay. save for like this one okay this one you just uncheck all sorry check all okay and then apply then you can have this kind of dimension here 
okay then you can adjust by clicking it you just add the position here okay make sure that the dimension is not going too far okay you can delete it it's fine it's fine okay somehow this is not very smooth uh movement of the dimension line here if i want to adjust it to pick up to okay maybe you can adjust the picture here like this okay but again, I don't like to use the show modernization. This one, if you want to use manually, then go to dimension. Let's say you want to point at the center of the circle here. For example, this line. You click this line. And by holding the control CTRL a keyboard. Okay. And then you can click this uh, center of the circle like this. Then you can have this one by holding the control so this is the other one let's say you want to see another features here for example this triangle endpoint to this triangle endpoint so you can see here the cap is 100 okay. right and this one is you, you, you did it manually yeah? okay and then dimension here let's say you want to show the, the radius here yeah. Right, this one is radius. If you want to change, want to change uh, into diameter, then you holding your right click button mouse, and then it will come out this one. Then this one will become diameter. Right. So this one. Make sure you want to have to have this side okay, again. Control button. So this one, this one is three hundred. Okay. But you need to show each of this side is uh, having uh, their own dimension. Eh? So again, annotate. But I don't want you to show a redundant uh, dimension. For example, this one and this one. Actually, it's the same. 300 here or 300 here. But you need to choose either one to show the same dimension twice or more. Okay. So just press the dimension and then delete. Right, so let's say you need to show more than this lah. This is just some example, okay? And then again, refit. Okay, this one we can just go to sketch and then it's like this so that you can disable everything. Okay, refit again and file save as. Okay, maybe you want to save this file first. This is the normal file here. Okay, just a uh, simple advice every time you do your work, please save from time to time so that let's say if your PC is hang or crash, then you still can open back your file. Okay, so this one change to PDF. Again, the highest resolution and monochrome. Okay, okay. Right, so you have this one, these two submission here. This is submission B, the multi view. And also the, with the hidden lines here, so that we can see there is a hidden features here. And then the isometry is no hidden. Okay, so this is uh, the isometry. Make sure that you change the position to isometry. Okay, so if you have these two uh, submission, then it's good to go for you to do the submission in the model. Right, so that's all. Thank you very much. Okay, hope we can see a good submission from you.